Welcome everyone to Leave Your Mark, the community game where you get to cause chaos in our podcast universe and the city of Gary. As you can see, it has uh, started to be colored in by the factions. There's uh, a little, yes, a voice. Welcome in, Kazuma. Uh, welcome in, uh, abusive Naga, Amanda Hagenik, Kiss, Ao. Hi, welcome everyone. Yeah, uh, I'm very much looking forward to this turn. People are trying out slightly different things from normal and their choices will have repercussions for the entire city. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, so let's do what we always do and say uh, thanks to patrons who make this possible. Um, if you would like to join this game, join, be a patron, uh, uh, the $25 tier, I believe, and you can uh, join the play by post in our Discord. You can uh, read it all for free though, if you're just interested in lurking, or you can watch these streams. Um, but actually another way of supporting that we recently achieved is Twitch subs. We have some people with stars in the chat, which is awesome. Uh, we also have a bunch of fresh blood uh, in terms of emotes, so yeah make make the most of those while you can um because uh yeah we're, we're going to be doing a lot more streaming in the in the near future as well so yeah i'm looking forward to it so what we need to do is <laughs> i've not seen the heart it's got teeth that's oh terrifying as uh welcome in zilpha okay so let's start with a recap of what has happened in the play-by-post just to show off everyone's role play and the stories they've written in our discord over the last month uh, and unfortunately i've been a little bit busy we went to gen con we did a live thing which is why my throat is is rough because i definitely caught covid while i was there uh yeah so that sucks a lot but uh we had an amazing live show and we had some uh, some good times together and people in the discord have fortunately given me some uh point by point updates for what has been going on while i've been away uh so let's start at the top uh that's the american dream right there <laughs> well yeah that was uh indiana was nice i i wasn't that far from gary i was in indianapolis I could have could have taken a ride out that I don't know how long it takes to get between the two, but probably a long time because America is big. Um, could have hopped out there and given a sightseeing tour for this map I made right here. <laughs> anyway, let's go through the Discord. What have people been up to? The Young Bravo if, uh, RP events worth, worthy of note are that they went around most of their neighbors established borders interesting well we do we do have wait where are your neighbors uh young bravos of right here right in the middle so just is is this whole section like the entire city everything that you can see is yours uh good relationships with the corpse mongers apparently you shared information uh the magi and bravos almost went to war oh yes they did uh that was very close that wasn't there something happening at the larp fields where people almost kicked the crap like people almost got burnt like it got real violent like people had a duel uh that's that's one thing i did manage to catch up on was the chaos people beating the crap out of each other's characters it was very entertaining um uh instead they made a deal where if some occult bs goes down in young bravos uh they will let the Magi deal with it as long as they give Bravos a heads up because they can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, in return, Glen Park is left alone. Ooh, Glen Park right here. Not too far from both of them. Let's see if that sticks. <laughs> Lex is angry at Cog uh, for something his dog did and wants vengeance. I'm not going to add context to that. You're going to have to read the Discord. <laughs> The Alphas are meeting, uh, Alphas and Bravos meeting was very friendly. It became a competition to see who gets to claim the Oasis nightclub first. This one right here. 
Okay, cool. Uh, the Lucid. There is a prospective moderator, a new character uh, who will be turned soon. It's been returned to them by the alphas. Uh, oh, apparently two characters from different factions are siblings, Idol and Lex. Whatever that means for the uh, diplomatic relations between the two, I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, Idol and Lex provided some low-cost advice to some thin blood bloods. Uh, what did you cheat them out of, I wonder? Um, to convince the 49ers to join a proper group before they're wiped out. And I believe that's probably going to be the... Uh, uh, the, the, the alphas, because they are working towards that? We'll see. Uh, the lucid operate and have a stake within an MMO called Masquerade Shadow Legends. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Amanda, how could you? That was all... That, you get minus 10 points for that from the Lucid. <laughs> Toothy and Lex had a brawl in an abandoned church. Nice. Uh, Toothy apparently had a, a, a huge amount of hobbies that range from cooking to tailoring to cosplay design to gun maintenance and modification to painting. There is also a blood marriage within the paint shop crew. Hmm. Fun. Uh, for the Alphas, Gareth is visited by Lex, who managed to tease... I think Lex is one of the Magi, uh, who managed to tease out the, the kids that they have hidden away in place. I don't know what that means. Lex inadvertently causes Gareth, Gareth to take care of the problem, unknowingly foiling Alex's plan to use the kid as a bargaining chip against the Lupines. Oh yeah, they stole a werewolf kid apparently or they kidnapped someone uh alex would arrive a few nights later and there would be a bit of tension oh, oh is that that's internal tension <sighs> alex explores the weirdly named motel 36 which is here down here uh and it looks more like a hotel of many levels. Once inside, he discovers the place is much larger on the inside and maze-like. I love that. Uh, it's run by someone called the Night Manager, who could be Fae, Kindred, uh, Spirit, who knows. Uh, it was probably used as a prison by the previous prince to hold troublemakers. That's some, uh, that's some interesting lore building you got going on there. We'll see which of it comes true. Uh... Alphas helped out corpse mongers with some werewolves who are trying to infiltrate their home. Perfect. Uh, the Alphas met with the young Bravos and had a good time speaking. They found the plans for the Oasis, so they raced for it, right? Oh yeah, we went over that one. Uh, Alex met with the Magi for a late night sword duel in an abandoned church. Yep, covered that one as well. And there's a topic of meeting made for war maid spell m-a-i-d not sure if paint shop the the lucid have got time to do it but uh i wonder what made for war is do you have to dress up in maid outfits and fight i hope so that would be very entertaining anyway been a lot of drama going on characters almost lost their lives uh Oh, there was, wait, was that this month? There was a huge meetup of a bunch of Nosferatu characters, mine included. And that was very fun. There had lots of information sharing as normal. Made for War was the Lucid member that lo was lost in a Motel 36. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Very cool. And with that, all we have to do is find out what absolute mayhem you're going to cause this month. So... Let's begin Start a fight in one word Initiative 
Okay, here we are on the main map, but what we need to be is in here. I'm just uh, going to double check. I was going to change some of the rules this month, but I do not have the energy to do the announcements. There are some minor changes to the rules, but nothing huge. But uh, there might be a big, bigger, bigger one coming in the next couple of months. Either way, drama time. It's initiative. And, oh, we have a triple tie for bottom. <laughs> so the, the, the order is Magi definitely going first, then the Alphas. Luck is on your side this time. Uh, let's put those over here. Uh, Magi first, then the Alphas, then the Young Bravos. And then the Lucid, the Corpsemongers, and the Silk Gauntlet all suck. Okay, let's do... Uh, 3d10, uh, left to right, lucid, corpse, silk. Uh, 3d10, oh my goodness. There we go. So, lucid are fourth, so they're last, last. Corpse mongers, they got 10, so they're third to last. And then silk gauntlet just before them. It's okay, you're saving the good rolls for actions. Okay, good, good. Second ain't bad. Alphas, finally, maybe this is it. This this is your this is your uh month. Okay. Magi. Let's pull you up. Where are you? How are you doing? You've got plenty of heat. You get one coin, one rep, and one XP. Let's go through your actions. You are assisting the young Bravos, so we don't need to do anything about that. This will be relatively quick. The short apartment event. No, no, I'm reading the wrong one. That's that's my fault. That's don't worry, don't worry. That was the silk gauntlet's turn. Uh, <laughs> not giving anything away here. The Magi are doing two events. They are doing the university event. So let's start with that. What is the university event? That's a very good question. Let's check the map. The university down here is their place. So. They want to make sure that no turmoil builds up, which is a good idea. And doing events will stop that. They need to do a physical roll to get one XP. Well, let's see how that goes for them. Physical. Not very good for them, but that's not necessarily a problem when you're trying to avoid risk. And you get a two, which if I am correct, means you get two heat. Two heat here is easier to clear. That's the rhyme, isn't it? <laughs> Good news. But they also get one XP for filling that in and finishing it. Excellent. Well done. And the good news is that the next action is way less dangerous. I'm going to try and, just, just so you know, Oh, and they get plus one XP from the LARP fields. Thank you for reminding me. They get a, a, a turf bonus. Oh, God, you're really close to getting an upgrade. What, uh, what one are you going to go for? You getting extra seizing claim actions, bonus dice, or human sacrifices? I wrote. <laughs> I forgot some of the stuff I wrote. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh dear. Claiming the Black Oak. And that's just a tear roll. Another bad roll for everyone. But that's a three. That's a, it's fine. It's the worst possible situation. But your crew tier gets you uh, one tick on Black Oak. And... Wait, uh, where's the thingy? Just want to double check that. Caesar claim. That is one tick. It is three. Sacrificing sounds on brand. It does sound on brand for them. I'm in interested to see. So this is something that we are following on with from last month, which is now that their actions are over, you did very well. Well, I mean, 
you got too heat from the the event which something went wrong didn't it at your base no less <laughs> so you got you got over half heat and that's that's going to cause you problems so don't worry about that right now what you did do well is complete an occult objective which is your long term objective and you are two out of six there i have changed slightly the length of clock for different um objective events but uh, it, depending on like rarity of the required thing i think that sounds appropriate um but yeah you're almost halfway and when you complete those i will reveal the rules for completing events it's it's big though Obviously, these are objectives for the entire faction. You get to do and you get to know big things. Just, just saying, if you complete those. Yeah. One of them. Anyway. Is that everything? Order of operations. We have calculated resources, actions, entanglements. Excellent. Knew there was something I missed out. Your entanglement is, or your heat is, that's five, which means you get plus two heat. Oh! Or minus one status with the highest level faction. Ooh! Do I really try and screw you? Or do I really try and screw you? Let's see what your highest level faction is now when i wrote highest level faction is that highest status level or is that highest tier level i am going to quickly check the official book um the rule book for <laughs> blades in the dark Minus one to Lucid would put them into war. Mmm, that would. I don't know if that, that, that would count, though. Blades in the dark. Okay. Effect. Action game. Uh, no, where's the entanglement? Doop 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 doop. Fortune, do, 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 do. character crew, downtime, here we go. Reprisal or unquiet dead in that one, that's slightly different. Minus one to silk would be accurate. Mm. I'm going to double check what it says in here. And then add a word to the thing. Uh, reprisal. Is that it? I feel like I've done this before. Uh, my... An enemy faction makes a move against you. Mm, no, that's different. Okay. Um... I think you made it. Welcome, Emma Vallis. I'm going to say that that is the highest status faction. So let's look at your faction relationships, Magi. You are at one with the Silk Gauntlet. Mm. Do I leave you with a friend or do I save you the heat? I'm going to change this to zero. I'm sorry, guys. 
for whatever you did pissed off the silk gauntlet. <laughs> Okay, I think that is everything. You don't level up, but you're very close to it. So make sure you, you know, have a discussion about what special ability you would like. And it is time to move on to the alphas. You get to go really, really far, fast this time. And you, you, you've got just really simple events. You've got two things to do. Uh, we're going to start by giving you your rep. You're full up on coin. And someone suggested I do something with coin. Because a lot of people end up with a lot of it. And I might, I might add, like, spending it for bonuses or something. But either way, you get an XP. I'm going to claim the 49ers. And claiming is a tier roll. Starting to get the hang of this. <gasps> You got a four. That's two ticks. Bloop, bloop. You're only one away. Were you only at one? For some reason, I thought you'd be further on. Maybe you only did it, uh, you've only been claiming. Uh, have you done more than one claim event on that? Didn't you help? Oh, you did! Oh no. You had an assist, which means I'm gonna re-roll this. <laughs> it's the rule for everyone, and I am so sorry. I did this to you last time as well. I wrote it down and everything. This is entirely my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's reset that to one for you. Oh my goodness. Shall I shall I be kind? And if we have to rewind, I'll pick the highest. I uh, uh, Am I feeling that good about it? Yeah, I am. I am actually. I will we'll say that is the same for everyone though. Obviously, it's the same for everyone. If I re-roll, you get two rolls. <laughs> Statistically, very good for you. Oh, dear. Uh, right. Tier. One bonus dice. It's on brand. It's fine. Okay. If you're okay with it, I'm just, I'm just going to say. No. You, you've said it. I'm, I'm going to go with... The, the accurate actual roll works for you. It's a five! It's a five! What was I worrying about? You got this. It's fine. Whew. I feel way less bad now. Okay. You're almost there. You almost got extra turf. Good job. And then the little wood event. I just checked. No bonuses. <laughs> Not for that one. And the little wood event. This is a place that I don't think we've mentioned at all yet. But little wood is over here. And, ooh, he heals 3 XP and 3 rep. Big win. It is a mental roll as well, which you are very good at. So, the likelihood of you getting extra uh, stuff, uh, extra heat, it's quite low. Good luck. You got a 5. No, you got a 6. Because I'm not, I'm not taking the lowest this time. <laughs> I, almost, I almost screwed you twice there. Okay, uh, you got a six, which is just the reward. Perfect. Just sliding on through that, that mental, uh, what, what did you have to do? What is it that you got, aside from three rep and three XP? What was that event? The Littlewood Mechanics? is a persuasion event with a mental role. You've got to be smart about persuading people, whoever that was. Very close to the werewolves. Maybe it's them. 
excellent turn. And now, unfortunately, like everyone else. Oh, uh, should I do, I, d I did the thingy. Uh, your objectives are do things with werewolves. There are SI there. There are vampire hunters there. Okay, so no werewolves for you. Um, you didn't do any of your main objectives, but that's okay. There's plenty of time. So let's do entanglements. You have four heat, which means once again, it's plus two heat or it's minus one status with your highest level faction. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the heat. <laughs> you got so much rep and XP there. Why not fill in more of your trackers? You're getting the heat. I'm gonna give you the heat. Uh but now it's something that we have never done. The first people, the first faction to level up. And they have chosen because they guessed that they'd get the uh, the event. Um, they filled in this XP marker here. So they get to choose, uh, they could do crew upgrades or they could get a cohort, uh, which they wouldn't be able to use because I'm still working on the rules for cohorts and like the amount of actions people get because that could like spiral out of control. Anyway, we talked about that in the Discord. They have chosen one of their special abilities Spider's Veil, uh, which is due to hard won experience or premonition, their activities are hidden from the notice of other creatures. They take one less heat during the resolve event action, which means they can collect resources with way less risk than most others. That's going to be big. Long term, that's going to be big, which is in part why I gave you the extra heat. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is one of the things. So each faction is different, and as you go, obviously, uh, each faction will they'll customize themselves. But this one, I've, I've changed all of the special abilities for each faction to kind of give them their own thing. And one thing the alpha is really good at is dissipating or avoiding heat. Um, with their special abilities. Uh, mileage may vary depending on how well you roll. But either way, good, good turn, Alphas. It had to happen eventually, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, but that's the Alphas. Next is the young Bravos. Gareth gets a spider famulus. <laughs> That sounds good to me. You, uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to level up your uh, your player characters, that's now is the best time as any. Um, so I remember minus one heat from haunted house and plus one assistance from silk gauntlets. Aha! Thank you very much. Uh, you know me well by now. Can't remember everything. Don't remember everything. Appreciate that. For your. Young Bravo turn. Okay. The Bravos. They have one rep, no extra coin, and one XP. They're going to take the motel. Oh, and uh, I mean, I should apply the, the minus one heat now because of their uh, their haunted house. Pretty good. They're, they're going like balls to the wall trying to get turf. Uh, and I don't blame them. They are taking the motel. Roll that tier for you. Uh, and it's the nightclub you get the bonus for, so I won't do anything with this one. You get a five. That is two chevrons engaged. Did the relationship get altered for the assist? Thank you for the reminder. I didn't do that. So let's do both of those now, actually. While I remember, or have been reminded, I suppose, the Silk Gauntlet 
and the bravos. Where are you? You two, you go from zero to one because you are helping each other. And, whoops. Uh, and the lucid and the alphas go up from minus one to zero. Wow. Healing wounds. That won't last, but good diplomacy, everyone. I'm only slightly disappointed that I won't see a war start this turn. Or will we? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, we've sorted out the assists. We've done the taking of the motel. It's very close now. And they're actually starting a brand new one, which is to take the nightclub. The nightclub is right next to you, isn't it? It's the Oasis nightclub. Uh, and oh, that will give you a cohort, which is basically a, an extra uh, uh, an extra action for for cash. So, yeah, you want to get that. Meanwhile, we are adding this here. So it's four because you're right next to it. It won't take long. Obviously, further away stuff is harder to take it. But this is take Oasis Night Club. And that's another tier roll. Can't wait to see people go up in tier. That'll be very funny. And then go down in tier when you start to piss each other off. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a two. So it's only one. But, congratulations. Oh, it's plus one in it. You reminded me and everything. <sighs> I, I'll blame it on the COVID. Oh my God, you got a six. Is that three? Is that five? That's three, a critical, which is two sixes. Uh, if you've got one dot or above. Critical's five, but three. Whew. It's a good thing you remind me of the bonus. Oh dear. Excellent turn, young bravos. Now, uh, you have, is that, you haven't done an assault event? Uh, cause 10 turf to complete their turmoil track. You haven't done any of that yet. Um, you haven't got Dante's Bar or the Depot, so no point checking that. So let's do Entanglements. And you are at Heat 4. And once again, we've got Heat plus 2. Or oh, 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 oh. lose minus 1 status with the highest level faction. Who are you friendly with? I would love to start a war. Uh, ooh, where are you? Uh, there. You are friendly with the Lucid. Oh, you just got that. That would be unfair to take it from you. So, uh, yeah, more heat for you. <laughs> You're in a lot of trouble. Do not let that fill up. Or do. Yeah, do. That would be fun. That would be fun for me. Uh... And to be fair, if you fill up your heat, you get some pretty cool, uh, you get, you get some, some pretty cool story stuff. Whatever. Uh, right. Bravos. They don't level up. Not even close. So don't worry about that right now. Bravos have done. We're halfway through. We're powering through today. Oh, I do want to see blood. Chat, of course I do. Just threatening more RP. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Okay, we got the Bravos done. Alpha's done. Today, the corpse mongers step up to the plate. And they've got very simple plans. They're going to take the sewer hub. And then they're going to try and take the mansion. So let's give you your rep coin and XP. 
stop being nice every I, I will say, I think you're all too nice for vampires, for bloodthirsty vampires. With like beasts and stuff, you're all too nice. Someone needs to die. Actions need to get messed up. There needs to be a power imbalance. Don't worry, that'll happen eventually. <laughs> no need to rush it. Uh, a tear roll for the corpse mongers. No bonuses here. I checked my notes. You get one taking the sewer hub. You're very close to that, just eking your way there. Um, and you're also deciding to take the mansion. Uh, and I need to check, where is the mansion? You are, are you right next to it? Modius's mansion is right there. So it's all good. Let's do the tear roll. Oh, well, I'll, I'll write the thing in. Take Modius's mansion. That is a four step clock. Let's roll tear. Ooh, a one. <laughs> is there anything extra awful happening for a one? Unfortunately not. It's just one. Not a, a huge amount of, uh, of, of progress, but you know, slow and steady. Something, something tortoise and hare. Probably. Okay, you haven't achieved any objectives so far. You didn't do any events, so that's fine. Magadon exports, you don't own those. It's time for entanglements. Your heat is four. Ah! And this one is slightly different. I could give you minus one rep or plus one heat. I, I'm in a heat kind of mood today. <laughs> After this turn, the corpse mongers have beef to settle, do you? Oh, what happened? Everyone slow you down taking the sewer hub and Modus's mansion? Okay, good. Good to know. A lot of a lot of people did get quite rude to the corpse mongers, uh, so that'll be fun to uh, to watch your RP. Uh, okay. Otherwise, that is the corpse mongers turn, and we're on to the silk gauntlet. Who are doing events? Let's get them some rep. Oh, they are so close. I think they're the closest to actually getting a new tier. Because once that fills up and they've spent some coin, they will go to tier one weak, which is, is, is not... It's pretty good, honestly. Gives you extra dice and means that you are ahead of people for most rolls. Um, so that, that makes sense. These... These silk gauntlets have been very, uh, very diplomatic and, and, and business-like so far. I love it. Um, ooh, a certain party failed to keep their side of a bargain. Ooh! Okay. What are they doing? They are doing, starting, with the Shaw Apartment event. That's right next, is that their tour turf? It is. It's an occult event. And they will get three, oh my God, they'll get three rep. They'll get the rep they need. Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> it's, it's almost like they planned this. Oh, and they ex also get an extra coin because, I'm glad I looked at that because otherwise I would have got they get an extra coin because of that turf. So they need to... Oh, there are werewolves there. It's an occult event and they need to ro roll mental, which I think they're okay at. So this could go poorly for heat, but it's it, likely to go okay. They got a five, which I think means they get just one heat? Yes. It's going to... 
Yep. Just one heat. But they also get three rep. And that's them full because they have the, the, the one filled in here from the turf. So watch out, everyone. The Silk Gauntlet are about to pull ahead. They, next turn, they get the coin, I think. I can't remember how much it costs to level up. But they will unfill that rep counter. Uh, spend a certain amount of coin and they will be at tier one, which is big. They are very, yes, good point, Gehenna Wolf. They are very close to getting a one to level. Which, uh, unfortunately, at, at this stage, if this fills up to here, they will have no choice in. It will be too late to try and solve that problem. It is tier times two. Two coin. They'll, they'll only need you to spend two coin then. Wow, I made that cheap. <laughs> Maybe I should take another look at that. Um, never mind. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Right, well, that's only their first event. Uh, they're also assisting the Young Bravos. Oh, we've, we've figured that out. They got uh, Diplomatic, they got bonus points friend on the friendship. Uh, what's this, a hexagon? No, it's an octagon. Uh, I don't know my shapes. And that's their turn. The bad news is the entanglements here could be really bad for them. They have three st oh yeah, we should check their um in uh, their their objective. That was an occult event, wasn't it, that they did? Yes, that's an occult event. So no persuasion events done for them. They do have plus three with someone, don't they? No, they need to get plus three relationship. Oh, I screwed them out of that plus one with the Magi earlier. All right. <laughs> but they need uh, long term. They need to get plus three status with three factions, which is really tough. Um, and they also need to get the Oasis Nightclub and the Depot or, or the Depot, I suppose. Um, Okay, no progress there, but entanglement's time. All right, it is wanted level plus three coin, which, no, I think we've done that before. Did I change? Either way, they lose coin equal to their wanted level, which is fortunately zero, or I could fill a cohort's harm. Wait. Wait. What's their what's their heat? One, two, three, four, seven. So we're do, we're up to the six heat one. So they don't dodge anything. Oh no. They either get minus three coin or plus one heat and plus one harm to a cohort. They don't have a cohort, so I'm gonna go with the minus three coin. You're poor now. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever investments you made, they went really wrong. Ooh. Is that going to stop you from leveling up? No, because you get plus one coin and then an extra one from your turf. So actually you're okay. But money's tight. That film... <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the Silk Gauntlet of Bankrolling a Werewolf film where they're going to try and capture footage of um of actual vampires <laughs> fighting actual werewolves which can only go well maybe that's why your heat is so high what's this maybe that's why the magi relation went ship went down ah yeah yeah because you lost all your coin no more money to bankroll the film <laughs> okay that's brilliant uh silk gauntlet's turn is done last but very much not least we love you it's the lucid 
The Lucid have been uh, doing some really weird and interesting stuff. So let's get you your bonuses. You have you have one turf. What is it? It's the industrial train yards, but you don't get a bonus uh, resource from it or anything. So now it is time to see what objectives they're trying to do. Well, we've already assisted the alphas, so very well done. And yes! Yes! Finally, someone is going to try and take advantage of the hunt action. And the Lucid are very daring. Now, one of their main, one of their main enemies is the SI, the Vampire Hunters. And they're going to try and cause more turmoil at the airport, which is owned by the Vampire Hunters. So I can't wait to see how this goes. I'm going to read it because I have not done it yet. I want to make sure I get it. So the faction gains one XP and one coin. No matter what, you get those. So I'm going to give those to you right now. Oh, oh, you filled up your XP. Well done. Uh, you should probably pick a thing to upgrade. Did you? I don't know. Discord. Lucid. Did you pick a thing? You didn't pick a thing. But you can pick a, a thing in, in between turns because it basically gets applied right away. So don't worry about it. If you let me know in the Discord, just tell me. Um, and you, we'll, we'll give you a special ability or an upgrade. This is going to be interesting. Two factions have up, uh, upgraded now. So, you know what, before I forget, I'm going to get rid of that. Do the same for the alphas. Right. You got your, your uh, coin and XP. Perfect. What next? Roll the faction's highest stat out of mental, physical, and social and increase turmoil in a selected turf by the results. You get an extra XP if you get a crit. That'll be fun. Um, and if the turmoil increases above eight, we won't worry about that now. Let's just roll your highest stat, which is physical. So, good luck. This is going to be fascinating. You got a six, which means you increase turmoil by three. Ah. You went straight into their house and said, screw you. The turmoil there is four. It's halfway to filling up the clock, which is hilarious because um, just from a rules and like meta perspective, turmoil is actually the way that I intended for NPC factions to affect the world. So when turmoil is full, they get to do something anyway. <laughs> so uh, excellent. You didn't tip it over the edge, which would have been bad for you, I think. Uh, no crit, so no extra XP. Uh, but excellent, excellent action. I am so fascinated to see how that turns out. Um, and now it is time to do some entanglements. Oh, hang on. You didn't do an SI event objective. But you did... But you did go straight to their house. So I'm feeling super generous. Oh, minus one relationship with SI. Did I miss a thing? For hunting on turf. Oh, yeah, that... Um that's similar to the resolve event action. If the event is on another faction surf, ooh, should I apply that? They're two separate actions. They are, and I think, yeah, resolve event is different because it is intentionally aggressive.
Hmm, own turf. Yeah, I'll I'll keep it the way it is for now. So I don't go uh back and forth on things. So yeah, at the moment it doesn't reduce relation, but like I think there was a thing where if you hunt on someone's turf and you flip it, it does cause a problem. The Lucid will take uncanny preparation. Oh, you've chosen your upgrade. During a hunt action, you gain one rep. <laughs> Very good. That's not going to apply now because the actions come before upgrades, but nice. Very nice. More hunting in your future. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, mm. I'm gonna have to clarify that in my own head. But... No change to status or relationships from hunting at the moment. That's what happened between the Magi and Lucid. Uh, right, yes. Did I click? Did I click entanglements for you? Yes, I did, because it's under here. So, your entanglements, Lucid, are at three heat. So you're actually not doing very badly, because you get to lose wanted level in coin or wanted level in heat. Uh... You don't have wanted level, so you... Whoosh, you avoid any consequences for your actions, and I am furious about this. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, okay, airport. That's... Uh, it sorted out the tur turmoil there. Yeah, that's that's just your turn. I am willing to give you a, an SI event objective. This is specifically for resolve event actions, but like you went right up to them and like bashed them on the on the nose. So I'm gonna give you a chevron for doing stuff with SI. <laughs> um, and I I think it would be fair to say if anyone else wants to uh do objectives that are to do with uh faction specifically then the same would apply because that's that's super funny to me <laughs> uh take the airport from the hunters ah that's what you were trying to do i see that's a huge clock gary itself survived another night congratulations yes now it is time for the problems Gary will cause you in return. Which means uh, closing old events. Yeah, um, just for speed, I am not going to close old events this turn. That will just mean increasing turmoil in all the places where if events happened that weren't resolved. So like Lake Station, there was an occult event. No one did it plus one turn more. I'll sort that out off camera because that takes a while and a lot of fiddling. Um, but the most important thing I think to show you is the new events that I will do on camera because we get a roll for those. So there will be seven new events to replace the old ones the next turn. So an assault event is happening at the artist's commune which is right here. An occult event is happening at the Temple of the Little One. There are Second Inquisition there. May <laughs> There's Second Inquisition at the uh, Artist Commune too. Maybe someone pissed them off. <laughs> the Temple of the Little One is right here. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, three. Persuasion event at Lake Station with werewolves. Oh no. <laughs> Lake Station over here. Four. Uh, the sewer hub has second inquisition there and you've got to persuade them not to kill you. 
That's over here, the place that these guys are taking over. Wow, they're out in force. Hmm, weird. I wonder who all the all the end uh, all the all, who the the. I wonder who everyone's going to blame for this. Number five. <laughs> At the Lucid Genesis Convention Center, right at the home turf, there are Second Inquisition. <laughs> That's a transport event, my friends. Uh, number six. It's an occult event with no NPCs there at the Chase Street Diner. <laughs> I feel like I should I should do something just to uh make this pr like a thing. You've caused a problem and now it's come back to bite you. Uh but this Chase Street Diner, that's just normal wibbly shit. Um That's an occult event, requires a physical role, maybe it's a really heavy Ank. So, someone dropped a crystal ball and it's very heavy. Anyway, uh, and the last one is werewolves at the artist commune. Oh no, we can't do two at the same place. Or can we? No, I'm not gonna. Uh, Lake Station also has a thing there. The 49ers! <laughs> of course. The game, yeah, yeah, the, the random rolls are here are uh, start the war. Oh, minus, minus one. <laughs> I could do. I really could do. Okay. No, 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 no. This is what we're going to do. Because this is something that I have wanted to do. Uh, and the Lucid did this last time. This isn't actually their fault, this one. Uh, everyone in the Discord has access to use reactions so what i will do is yes this is a global event everyone in the discord will get to vote on whether the lucid lose one status with every other faction <laughs> because they it clearly clearly they pissed off the the inquisition and now they are at the 49ers turf they are at the uh, Genesis Convention Center. They're at the sewer hub. They're at the temple. They're at the artist commune. <laughs> so, would you like... Uh, this doesn't affect Young Bravo at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, doesn't it not? Okay, if, if Young Bravo want to be uh, excused from this, they can choose to. But every other faction, minus one. Either minus one or uh, we'll send them to war with just the Inquisition. That's what Discord is deciding on. Minus one with everyone or war with one of them. Anyway, I will put a thing up in the uh, in character all factions part of the discord if you would like to go there and vote uh, or or you can write it um, for yourself lucid feel free um, war with magi or war with si <gasps> that's a good point that will put them to war no matter what okay so that seems unfair, just making sure that they're at war. So I'm going to say, min oh yeah, minus one with everyone, which will definitely put them to war with the Magi, which will be very fun. Or uh, the SI will... Uh, I'm going to check a thing. The SI will put their heat up to one above... Uh, one below full which will cause a lot of problems for them.
would just would just almost fill their heat which is equally as bad the vote is absolutely open to those outside of the game it will be uh with uh reactions in discord you can vote between the two um we'll make it clear in the discord post which is which so if you do want to go there vote everyone is free to join the discord everyone is free to read and react to mess uh messages in uh the play by post section of the discord so uh go there and that is the pod by night discord uh is there an exclamation mark discord yes there is uh yeah and that is I see dash all dash factions. That's the channel name. If you want to go in there. Ooh, I'm sorry, Lucid. You had you had a pretty good turn. It was very fun, and I hope you're feeling you're not feeling too victimized here. There's there's all the events. <laughs> we had good. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Yeah, some shenanigans were pulled. You got an upgrade here. Uh, that was a fun turn. So, likewise, I have had a wonderful time. I hope you have as well. If you would like to join us, please join us on the Patreon for obviously amazing uh, advantages and like behind the scenes stuff, as well as access to this uh, monthly game. And we'll get you all set up. Just send me a, a DM in in uh discord if you're interested in joining or you can ask in the uh in the chat either way whatever's comfortable for you yeah this has been a wild ride so thank you make sure you go and vote on which you want to happen I, i'll at everyone because this will be hilarious uh and yeah i hope you all have a wonderful time uh until next month oh and until the next stream have a wonderful uh, month <laughs> goodbye everyone <laughs>